Right, he said he making a million like Diddy. We got him on the line. T Pleasure, aka formerly known as T Pleasure. Now he's TJ Moore, King Ish 2014. What's going on with you, brother? Man, chilling, chilling, chilling. What's poppin'? What's up, y'all? We working over here. What's going on? It's 2014. You got a new hot record. Everyone is loving it. What's happening with you? Uh man, just cool and really uh like you said right now, you know we on the king. We on the king ish. You know what I mean? We doing it like that, and uh, I'm just happy to see 2014. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm happy to be there. Okay, so you know, you know, you gotta explain to us this name change, like for years. I'm talking about at least a decade. You've been going by T Pleasure. You know what I'm saying? Um, why are we switching up the name to like confuse everybody with the T J Moore? Cause come on now, you you know you can't be switching up the names like that. What's going on? I mean, you know, like you said, we're T Pleasure. You know, I was under that for quite some time. Um. It was it was time for a change, you know what I mean? I, I've grown as an artist, you know, I've grown as a person, a human being, period, you know what I mean, after all these years. i um, been doing it for 10 years total, you know, it was about that time. Um, but the name, you know, it has a lot of meaning behind it, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, it's the name that I chose, and um, I think it's sticking, you know what I'm saying? I think it's going to stick. All right, K. Mitch, in the cut, he, he got a question for you. T. Pleasure. T Yo. T as I should say, excuse me, T.J. Moore. Oh yeah! Is, is this something the name change? I, I I understand it. Snoop Dogg dropped the doggy. He, you know he made it happen, and it was success. Did right. the pregame the success of the, your your latest EP that dropped a few months ago? Did that right. in a way, I guess, not inspire you, but persuade you to go full fledged with that name change? Right. It definitely was. It definitely was. You know what I mean? When I uh, did the, uh, the EP, the pregame, and, uh, you know, it did what it did. You know, some uh, very good feedback on it. And, it, you know, just even the music that was on that EP, is it, it was it was to show more growth than everything I'd done before that point. You know, so, okay, okay, now we on this. This is where we at with the music. Okay, let's go in and make this name change and, and, and grow up in that area as well. You know, because the whole name T Pleasure, it just, you know, it just is not me no more. You know what I mean? Even musically. So it was about that time. Speaking of that time and growing up musically, can you please explain to me the song Mr. Nasty Time? That sound like you just went grown up to a whole nother <laughs> level and you should have been in the 90s with Jodeci making tracks like that. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's just where I was at at the moment. You know, when I'm, when I'm in the studio and I'm creating, you know, it's just how I'm feeling. You know what I'm saying? It's how I'm feeling. Like, okay, today I'm feeling like this. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let me let me let me make something like this. Okay, today I'm feeling like that. You know what I mean? So it's just you know the missing nasty time. That's that's how I was feeling at that that uh that time and place. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, already, already, right there. He put out that music. That he bring it back that futuristic R and B for real though. So uh, the, for real. So T J Moore is kind of like you know how Bow Wow, even though he's still little, he dropped the little. Everybody dropping the little. So you kind of like you know T Pleasure was when you was a little boy, when you was when you was a baby in the game. Now that you didn't grew right. up on your grown man status, you T J Moore. Right, exactly. I, I couldn't have said it better. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly what it is. You know, the only difference between, you know, a lot of people and myself is, you know, uh, their growth and, and their journey, you know, has it, been broadcasted. You know what I'm saying? It, it's been it's been seen. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not, I haven't been signed major. I haven't been with a jam or universal job to where the world is watching me. You know what I mean? But for the people who do know what's going on with me and who have seen what I've been through over all these years, you know, you know, they will appreciate it even more. And they, they understand, you know, where I'm at with everything. You know what I mean? So it's, it's just, you know, I, I work and I treat my career and everything that I do just as if I am signed with a major label. You know what I mean? So that when that day when that day comes, I'm ready. You know what I mean? Turn up, turn up. T.J. Moore, King Ish. So how did this record King Ish come about from the beat? Like, it's crazy. And then the song, the word, like, no R&B person is coming out like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, you on some some uh, hip-hop type of R&B, futuristic, you bringing it back. How did the whole King-ish come about? Really, um, the beat, you know what I'm saying, my partner Swag made it. You know what I'm saying? A little dude named Swag. You know, like, he real young, too, dude, like 16. You know what I'm saying? He's just crazy on the production. Me and him was on the phone, and we was like, yo, we need something new. Like, we, gotta, we need a new vibe. You know what I mean? So we got to talk and like, yo, make something like this. You know what I'm saying? Bring the, bring the snares in like this. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Bring the brass, bring the horns in like this, bro. And, you know, he did it, sent it over. And, it, you know, when I'm listening, it just 
sounded like nothing I ever heard before. Like, literally, you know, this is how I was feeling. Mm-hmm. And it was motivational to me, you know, to see an idea that came from scratch, came from my mind, come to life like that. You know what I mean? So I took that, you know, the motivational feeling that I that into a record. Okay. The type of record that could be motivational to anybody that's listening. You know what I mean? And that, that's pretty much what I came up with. 2014, on your king ish, making a meal like Diddy. That's what right. we're doing in the 2014. Right. Okay, so let everybody know how they can connect with you. Yeah, I know. I'm on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? That's at T underscore pleasure. You know, that's going to change soon. But for now, it's T underscore pleasure. P-L-E-Z-Y-A. You know what I mean? Facebook.com slash, you know, T pleasure. T-P-L-E-Z-Y-A. Holla at me. I'm there. All right. Even though the social media is T pleasure, still T.J. Moore. I'm just saying, though. Y'all look out for that right there. So, I mean, you on the line. Let's go ahead and get you to officially introduce this king-ish. I appreciate you checking in on the 2014. Oh, no doubt, no doubt. Hey, y'all know what it is, man. It's your boy, TJ Moore. Yeah, it's my new single right here. It's called King Ish. Let's get it. King Ish. I woke up this morning with a feeling. Make a million like Diddy. Hit my team up, let's get it. We ride you, listen to the bills of King Ish. 